Mission update, Agent Connor Heath. Operation, protect Giselic Legos. Are you ready? I am, sir. I'm now the sole operative charged with Gisela's protection. Ed is gone rogue and now in with Cordoban enemy number one, Azul. Gaining intel into the plot against Gisela and Cordoba. Finally, the answer to the question of the hour, who's that more? Diego. Diego? Trusted associate of the Clicos family, or so we thought. I'll deliver you the double agent to do with what you will. He then forced me to make my toughest choice yet. We're going to get him arrested by the Cordoban government. What? Ed will be far safer in Cordoban jail than in the hands of Azul. Ed's going to jail. Diego's a traitor. Everything is so awful. The consequences of my actions are real. How do I make things right from here on in? Agent Heath, signing off. This is awful. The most loyal guy ever and everybody thinks he's a traitor. They're gonna haul Ed off to jail. I don't think I can watch this. <sighs> Wait, how is it that I can watch this? Uh, I patched this into the Cordoban live newsfeed. Watching's not the problem, it's translating. You mind? Eduardo Garcia, trusted member of the Cordoban Secret Service, now considered to be an enemy of the state, being deported to Cordoba to be held in maximum security and await trial. We really are on our own now. And so is Ed. What was that? The reporter's wondering if we'll get any last words from Ed. No way. Protocol is to not say a word, no matter what. President's daughter in need of protection. A dangerous enemy threatening to attack. I'm Connor Heath, and this is the stuff my spy dreams are made of. Only this time, it's for real. In a flash, our lives have changed. There's nowhere to run to. So take my hand now. I'll always be with you. Gotta be a message for us. But La Esperanza literally means hope. So either Ed suddenly gone all poetic on us, or... Or it has a hidden meaning. Something that proves he's innocent. Yep. Okay. Huh. Well, it's not a case file. Could be anything. A cipher, password, an anagram. Who's that? You are required to testify against Eduardo Garcia. Why would I testify against him when he's Your flight departs in two hours. Senorita, from your father. The Jarhead's right. He's been sent here to keep an eye on me while you're gone. This is a disaster. You can't go down there. Not yet. Unless... I have to go, I have no choice. So, what if you decode the message from here? Well, you dig for clues back home? I just have to remember, what would Gisela do? I just have to remember, what would Connor do? Okay, okay! Computer, decode. La Esperanza. Deleting all files. Are you sure you want to this? Okay, okay. Forget technology. I'll figure it out myself. It's word scramble time. Serena Plaza? That's it! Sir, the temperature is 99 degrees with a hair killing 100% humidity. Here's your spa lunch menu, your sunglasses, and your telenovela update. Ramon is back together with Carmelita. Yes. You weren't by any chance Gisela's old assistant, were you? Yes, sir. Up to the moment I accidentally returned a season's worth of designer dresses, she had me demoted to palace doormat. Anyway, I have a meeting with Chief of Staff Diego Ramirez, right this way. Right this way. Mm. 
Agent Heath. Sorry for the short notice. Treason cases always move quickly. The public likes to see us take action. So will this case against Ed is solved? Of course. This whole story of his being undercover with the enemy, complete fiction. Ed's a traitor, and he'll be going to prison for life. Unless you have evidence to the contrary. Uh, no. No evidence. Uh, then we're done here. Well, except for evidence of your awesomeness at sports. I mean, I knew you were a decorated agent, but a decorated athlete, too. Now, that soccer trophy, that's got to have a story behind it. <laughs> Absolutely. There we were. End of the first half, down by two. Four minutes in, I gift wrap a chance for our striker to take the lead from a spot kick. No dice. Ten minutes to go. I score a quick deuce for the equalizer. Then, eight seconds left. Bam! <laughs> Three's the magic number. With a rocket attack from close range, their keeper won't forget anytime soon. Very inspiring, sir. I'm glad we had this chance to chat, son. Take it from me, you must never let the opponent win. My policy exactly. Sir, right this way to your next appointment. We still have a few minutes, sir. Dip in the pool? California roll? Should I ready myself for a barrage of inventive insults? Oh, no, my passport. I left it in Diego's office. Paco, does your swipe card open all the doors around here? Sir, our swipe cards are strictly for emergencies. And Senor Ramirez is very stern. We call him El Jerkface. Which is why I would hate to bother him with something so trivial. So if you'll just... We must never speak of this. Speak of what? It. La Esperanza is Ed's safe house. Great. When I get back, we'll go there and we'll check it out. I asked myself, what would you do? And then I got all spy -y. You what? You can't do that. You get in a cab and you leave there right now. But this is the place Ed wanted us to find. There could be real evidence here. Would you leave? Okay, one quick snoop. Got it. Bye. Ew. Ed's report on the enemy, from the inside. This shows he was never working for the bad guys. Oh no. Mission authorization. Please consider your undercover operation authorized by the State Affairs Office. Best of luck, Diego Ramirez. Ramirez authorized Ed's mission. So he knew about it all along. He was lying. This is... This is proof. Ed's innocent. Ed, consider yourself a free man. Wow, Agent Heath. What an unexpected surprise. Let's do this thing fast. Never heard Ramirez so mad. He wanted this done last week. He cannot be connected to this. Oh, the place looks clean. I wonder where the stash is. I made the crowbar. Hmm. Then again. Jackpot. All right. I'll start the fire. You dig up some marshmallows. Oh, man. What would Connor do now? What a curious turn of events. Did Paco forget to give you my schedule? It's the best way to avoid being caught when you're somewhere you're not supposed to be. Gisela knows that. Um, my passport. 
See, I couldn't find it, so I thought maybe I, I left it in here and... So you uh, thought you would break into a secure government office? Is that it there? Well, I'm gonna need that back, so... Let's you and me go for a walk. You have a big day ahead. Maybe you should take some time, collect your thoughts, alone. Well, actually, I feel pretty great, so, uh... It's not a suggestion, Mr. Heath. So take some time, collect your thoughts, give me your phone. Sock, full of cell phone trick. Works every time. Agent Heath, one. Hell jerk face, zero. Proof, Ed is going free. Hi, this is Gisela, leave a message. Gee, where are you? I have what we need. She's fine. Even if she's in trouble, she'd know exactly what I would do. I mean, how bad can it be? picture. You really think that's a good idea? Oh, sure. Look, I look especially good back then. Yeah, but it's also evidence that you were here. Remember that guy, uh, Joaquin something? Everybody loved him. You know, he sends out a sensitive email, the next thing you know, prison. Isn't this Hernandez, the doctor? Gutierrez, twins, Delgado, Vega? I wouldn't want to be one of them. One second, they know a little too much. Next. Maximum security. Oh, gee, what a relief. Are you okay? I'm fine, listen. Connor, that stuff was toast, literally. But I found out Diego's been sending people to prison for no reason except to keep them quiet. Gee, I can't. I can't hear you. Go connect. They must know what Diego's doing. Somebody's got to get into that prison and find out what they know. Somebody like... Ed! Hello? Check it. You see me? There's only one way to find out what all these people know. We have to let Ed go to jail. <sighs> Gee, I'll call you back. I'm just glad you're safe. They're ready for you, sir. Anything I can get for you? Nope. I have everything I need. Excuse me, I have a sort of emergency. Can I just... But I really have to just... How long have you known the accused? Eduardo Paul Garcia. Uh, a little over a year. And 
How would you describe your relationship? Well, that's a vault. Uh, first, a mentorship, then a partnership, and then a friendship. Now, Mr. Garcia and Ms. Calicos, would it be accurate to describe that relationship as uh, strained? Well, I guess so. Only, there's a lot more to it than that. I have before me a number of emails and uh, journal entries from the accused. He describes Ms. Calicos as entitled, conceited, bratty. Well, yeah, because he wanted you to think that he thought that. Then he did a pretty good job. <laughs> I need to use your phone. The phone is for employees only, no exceptions. Thinking of a job? Now, the enemy. Uh, you can confirm that Mr. Garcia had repeated contact, including the leader who operates under the code name uh, Azul. Well, yes, but. Yes or no? Yes. In fact, he became one of his favored operatives. Is this also correct? Yes. And, of course, you are aware that this is an act of treason. No. No? You're not aware of this? No, I am. What I mean is, no, that's not what he did. It sounds to me like you have new information. I do. I, uh, <clears throat> uh may I suggest a short recess? Sure. What do I have to do to get a message to Cordoba? That one. The say it with flowers arrangement in, I don't know, yellow. One number, 1207. Would you like a card with that? Yes. Yes, I would. Um, several, if that's OK. And can I put a rush on that? How much of a rush? How about immediately? What do you think you're doing, Heath? Let me remind you that you are under oath. There is no room for conjecture. This is about facts. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Whatever you say, you better have proof, because if you don't, you're guilty of treason. Is that clear? Garlic for lunch? Whew. Rush job? Absolutely. Consider me on it. Special delivery from Gisela Calico's coming through! Time to get you home, buddy. So, Mr. Heath, you were about to enlighten us with some new information. You have the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I would just like to remind everyone that we are talking to a boy here. Uh, a young man who may have difficulty uh, telling facts from fiction. Wow, Ramirez, you think he were about to incriminate you or something? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. Anyway, what I'm about to say may surprise you, but... Rush delivery for Connor Heath! These are for you, sir, from Gisela. Says urgent. And when she says urgent, I say, how oh, hi. Found out Diego's been sending people to prison for no reason except to keep them quiet. They must know what Diego's doing. Someone's got to find out what they know. The only way to find out, we have to let Ed go to jail. Uh, you were saying? Oh, nothing. Um, I was just stalling, sir. In my opinion, Eduardo Garcia should be locked up. Locked up behind bars with other like-minded criminals. People like Hernandez, Delgado, Vega, 
Joaquin. All those as guilty as he is. sleep on the plane. Your shift's over. So, how was your day? I have a whole new appreciation for what you do. Next time, I'm wearing more sensible shoes. And I have a whole new appreciation for what you do. Reporters, politics, and a man followed me around everywhere, including the little agent's room. <laughs> well, the important thing is, we did it. Together. And apart. So, why don't I feel all happy and relieved? Because this has gotten way bigger than just me and keeping me safe. And Ed is the only one who can get to the bottom of it. The only one who can save all those innocent people. It was the right thing to do. I just hope he sees it that way. Ah! Uh, before we go up there, one thing. I didn't exactly do everything the way you would do it. What do you mean? I... I don't think I would have mixed the Paisleys with the neutrals. 